Back in May last year, Google announced Project Astra. And this was something they were working on, which had kind of glasses and was basically Gemini Live. Just under a year later, they now rolled out what we saw in that demonstration, Project Astra, and now it's just called Gemini Live with camera and screen sharing. And we're going to be taking a look today. So let's check it out. So on the 7th of April here, they announced five ways to use Gemini Live with camera and screen sharing. So now you can walk around with your live camera talking to Gemini, asking it about your surrounds and stuff like that. Gemini Live with camera and screen sharing capabilities is now available on Android. Now, initially they said it was only available for sort of Pixel 9s and some Samsungs, but my phone is a Pixel 7. It's available for that. So yeah, it seems to be rolling out to a lot of phones already. So check whether you've got it. As I said here, starting with all Gemini app users on Pixel 9 and Samsung S25 devices. Yeah, that's not quite true because, as, as I said, I've got a Pixel 7 and it's rolled out to that. So let's have a look at a few examples just to give you an idea and then we're going to do our own testing. We all know that Gemini is good at helping you get things done, but what about when you just want to go down a rabbit hole? Hi, Gemini. Can you tell me something about this that most people don't know? The golden ratio is pretty famous, but here's a fun fact. It pops up in unexpected places, like the spiral patterns of sunflower seeds and pine cones often follow the golden ratio. It's like nature's got its own secret math club. Want to hear more about where else it shows up? Okay, so that's screen sharing. You know, you can screen uh, share your screen live. You can't really sort of share apps and things at the moment, which I think is a, a bit of an issue, but we'll come to that later. In this video, they're just getting suggestions about how they organize their space. What's the best way to arrange my chair in the apartment? That chair looks super comfy. It's already in a great spot for reading with that lamp right next to it. You could add a small side table for drinks and books, and maybe a soft throw blanket to cozy my chair in the apartment. Now they've added the words that come up on the side there, just so, you know, for visual users watching on YouTube and stuff like that. You don't actually get that. What you will do is you'll get a transcript of the conversation when you finish. How useful that is getting it after you've finished, I don't know, but at least you can go back and check any references that it may have done and stuff like that. But anyway, there's loads of demonstrations on this, as I said. So why don't we try it out for ourselves? I've been testing it for a few days. This is what I found out. What's this? That's Calorie Mates. It's a popular energy bar in Japan, kind of like a granola bar, and it comes in a few different flavors. Have you tried it before? Yeah, I have. Do you know what flavor this is if I show you the back? Sure, go ahead and show me the back. I'll do my best to figure out the flavor. Here we go, here's the back. Okay, I see it. That's the fruit flavor. Okay. And uh, this sort of chart here, see where my finger is? What's that saying? That part of the label lists the nutritional information. It shows the vitamins and minerals you'll get from one serving. Is there a specific nutrient you're curious about? Yeah, no, it's more the, the, the little chart with the boxes and the lines around it here. What do they say? Those boxes list the different nutrients in the calorie mate, like protein, lipids, sugars and vitamins. The lines probably connect the nutrients to the amounts listed in the table below. Do you want me to help you read any specific part of it? Um... Yeah, what are the uh, the vitamins? Can you tell? Can you translate the vitamins in this? Sure. It looks like this calorie mate has vitamin B1, B2, B6, B12, E, A, D, and K, as well as niacin, pantothenic acid, and folic acid. Need help with anything else on the packaging? Just a reminder that I don't provide medical advice or diagnoses. You should always talk to a medical professional. What other flavors do calorie mate do? Calorie Mate comes in a few different flavors. Besides the fruit flavor you have there, there's also cheese, chocolate, maple, and plain. Are you thinking of trying a new flavor? Yeah, I am. Where could I get them if I'm in the UK? Since Calorie Mate is a Japanese product, you might have the best luck finding it at Asian supermarkets or online retailers that specialize in international foods. Have you checked any of those places? Uh, no, I haven't. Do you think Amazon might do them? 
yes, Amazon is a good option. You can usually find a variety of calorie mate flavors there. You might also want to check out specialty online retailers that sell Japanese snacks. Okay, that's great. Thank you for your help. Do you know what flower this is? These are called Adansa Campanula, also known as bell flowers. They're a beautiful perennial that blooms in late spring and early summer. Are you planning on adding more to your garden? Yeah, I am. Um, when's the best time to plant these? The best time to plant those is usually in the spring or fall. Is now a good time for you to do that? Well, I've already planted it and it is April. Yes, April is a great time to plant those. Since you've already got it in the ground, make sure it's in a spot with well-drained soil and gets plenty of sunshine. Do you have any other spots in mind for more? Um, no, I don't, thank you. What can you tell me about this picture? That's a striking image of a geisha with a katana. The Japanese characters say, geisha samurai. Was there anything specific you wanted to know about it? What's the history of geisha samurai? The geisha and the samurai were part of separate worlds in Japanese history. Geishas were entertainers, skilled in arts and conversation, while samurai were warriors. It's not common to see them combined like this, but it makes for a very powerful image. Did you have any other questions about this artwork? No. Have you, do you know who might have done this artwork? I can't identify the artist who created this artwork. It's a striking piece, though. Are you interested in finding out more about similar artists? OK. What about this artwork over here? That's Banksy's Girl with Balloon. It's a pretty famous piece. Did you want to know more about it? Yeah. Girl with Balloon is one of Banksy's most iconic works. It was originally a mural in London and has become a symbol of hope and childhood. The image has been used in many ways, including as a symbol of the Syrian refugee crisis. Did you have any other questions about the piece? No. OK. What do you think this, uh, this is from, or is representing? That's a minimalist poster of the movie A Clockwork Orange, designed by Fred Burchell. It's a pretty striking and instantly recognisable design. Did you have any questions about the movie itself? Yeah, do you know, uh, no, but what about the art of Fred Burchell? Has he done other stuff? Yes. Fred Birchall is known for his minimalist movie posters. He has a whole series called Movies As If They Were Seen Through the Eyes of Their Main Characters, where he creates minimalist posters representing various films. A Clockwork Orange is part of that series. Would you like to see more of his work? Yeah, could you show me some more of his work? I can't show pictures here yet, but you can find more of Fred Birchall's minimalist movie posters online. Would you like me to help you search for them? Yes, please. OK, I can't show pictures here yet, but I can help you find more of Fred Burchell's work. Would you like to see more of his minimalist movie posters, or are you interested in other types of art as well? No, I'm good, thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. How about you? Yeah, I'm fine, although uh, I was looking for my car keys. just saw them on the desk next to your keyboard. Is that where you thought they were? Oh, yes, thank you. You're welcome. Glad you found them. There they are. Great, I'm glad you found them. Are you all set then? Yeah, all set. OK, so there you go. There's a few examples. And yeah, it works really, really well. It is pretty mind blowing. And you can see how easy it could be to implement these into smart glasses without that much technology, because all you'd need to do is sort of add a camera to the glasses and then a Bluetooth connection to your phone and run it via your phone. Maybe some speakers here or something like that. But it doesn't have to be an, you know, a heavy, overcomplicated pair of glasses. And as you can see here, Google have just been showing their 
Android XR glasses with an amazing superpower? What if the AI assistant in your glasses could help you find them because it remembers where you last placed it? Just like my car key example earlier. So these glasses are powered by Android XR, but you can see how they could be sort of easily rolling this out to third parties to kind of allow them to make smart glasses. And combined with Gemini Live, I think you can actually have a really useful device. It doesn't have to be overly complicated, as I said. Anyway, there you go. I mean, there are a few issues I have overall with Gemini Live and the fact that it can't then sort of go and bring up examples for you and sort of come out of the app, as it were, come out of the live view. In that example where I asked it to show me other pictures from that artist, it couldn't come out of the live app to do that. So that would be something that would be really useful to, to do later on. But overall, I just thought I'd give you a quick demonstration because that's the best way to sort of show this off and review this technology. So let me know what you think. Have you used it? Has it been rolled out to your phone yet or any of that? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you like this video, do me the great honor, please hit the like because I like it, YouTube likes it, and it helps people like you find content just like this. And of course, if you're new to my channel, then do me the great honor, please hit that subscribe button, toggle that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I go live with videos just like this. And talking of videos just like this, why don't you check out these videos here? These ones here. Thanks for watching.